Hi there, this is a uh, game playthrough of my 2D game, the Discworld game, that is made with RPG Maker. Uh, so, start a new game. Uh, this is the first event as soon as you get into the game. You have woken from your sleep. In your sleep, Death the Usher of Souls greeted you and informed you of the auditors and their intent and taking time for themselves and manipulating as they please. He assigned you the quest to rec retrieving the glass clock, the last surviving relic, infused with the power to destroy the disc. Help us, Luther Day, your only hope. So that was a, um, a scroll-up event, of which is automatically or is already in the game engine. So if you press down on the keyboard, uh, welcome to my Discworld game. The controls are simple. It's not WASD to move, it's actually the arrow keys. Uh, enter to interact and escape will bring up the menu. Have fun and please leave feedback. So this is the first shack, uh, first level of my uh, game is the shack. Uh, it's also the shack and the swamp, they're linked together. You can go and walk through the bed apparently. But yeah, Everything you can see is uh, painted in Photoshop except for the door. So you walk through the door, everything's also imported here as well. So you've got the trees, the uh, the floors are auto tiles. It took absolutely ages to work out to make them, uh, but there's plenty of guides. So we go to the first sign and we read the sign. It says to navigate this bridge, you'll need to locate the key. Uh, interact with it again. It says try the shack at the end. It gives a little tip. So that um, activates the first switch, which will take us back to the shack and the switch will basically be active and this chest will appear. It'll only appear when you when you go through, uh, when you actually interact with the sign. So we have a key in our inventory. Uh, yeah, it's got an icon. Oh, this inventory is automatically in RPG Maker as well. Uh, the save function works fine. Uh, the game end, you can game then. But inside there's no items or anything which he can make use of. He's apparently a soldier as well, but he's not. He's a monk. So we'll go back through this door. Go back to the sign. And that should let us go across the bridge. Well, there's no bridge, but it transfers across the bridge. Some magic. So you can't get back. No way of getting back. You can walk through top of these <laughs> things, apparently. Okay. So we're in the cave. Death said something about reaching the plains. He told me about the big man waiting for me. So this is the second level of the game. There's a, there's a sign there. We need to interact with the sign, but there's no way of actually getting through. This is a completely isolated cave. Just There's not much in there. So we interact with this sign, and that will activate another switch, which will allow three switches to appear and a door with a chest behind it, and that's the, the keys in that chest. So because the door's been set with a variable of one, a uh, variable of three, and the signs each add a variable to the door, which it, uh, they all equate, equate to three, so they're individually one, uh, pull each switch and the door gradually disintegrates. The first one made it crumble, the second one made it crumble even further, and the third one will make it disappear completely. So now we can go to this uh, chest and interact with it. A key was found. I can now get to the planes. So go back to the sign and interact with the sign. You have used the key on the sign. Do you want to go to the planes now? You can press yes or no. I'll have a look around before I go ahead. That's a, a conditional branch. Uh, where it's yes or no. Uh, yes will give a different answer to no, obviously. I don't need to go back to the shack, it's pointless. It's uh, a bit I added to stop players from going back on themselves. You have uh, used the key on the sign. Do you want to go to the planes now? Yes, we'll go to the planes. And the transfer is to the planes level. So everything else in here was uh, painted. You'll see the terrible artwork on the, on the uh, windmill. So we'll go to cross the bridge. This is a strange place for a windmill. I thought this was a planes. It looks like it's been burnt down. 
that's also a event within RPG Maker where it scrolls up the camera to the right and it comes back uh, a big chain of uh, scripting which you just need to press buttons to make it all work uh, makes that happen so we'll speak to this guy, he says I'm busy, leave me alone and he'll keep saying that until you interact with one of the flower bags the flower bags were painted in Photoshop as well the character, the other guy is uh, a sprite within RPG Maker there's a shack of flower here shack <laughs> uh, do you want to kick? yes hey stop that, get over here that activates a switch so he'll now actually speak to us what are you playing at? Death sent me to speak to you. Ah, oh, you did? Oh, I guess you'll be wanting the key Tom to save for you. And you'll also be wanting this map. You've been given a map and a key. Now go and do whatever it is you need to do. He said something about a village though. And then that also activates another switch which makes him not speak to you. So, yeah. There's a sack of flour here, do you want to kick? That's another little thing. Look, you're making a mess. It's the flash kind of acts as some kind of flower effect. That was what I was going for. So we leave the windmill and we continue through this path, and that is the end of the game. Completed the game! Woohoo! Please leave some feedback. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, please leave some feedback if you can. Uh, thank you very much.